Alright, hey guys, what's going on? My name is Benarek, and I'm bringing another Photoshop tutorial today. Um, sorry about my voice, it's a little bit hoarse. Um, but, anyways, besides that, I'm gonna go ahead and get onto the tutorial now. This is a Photoshop tutorial. Close that. Uh, CS6, it'll work in any other version though, so go ahead and open up CS6. And this is gonna be a desktop background, so go ahead and create a new document desktop bg uh, go ahead and put in your screen resolution mine's 1920 by 1080 300 and if you need to get your resolution I don't know why that's flashing so much but you can go to right click screen resolution Display resolution 1920 by 1080. Um, this is as high as mine goes. So, alright, back to Photoshop. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is unlock the background layer. Just double click on that little lock right there. Layer 0, where is we actually call this the black um, color. And then <coughs> You go ahead and go over here and grab your paint bucket tool. Uh, make sure your colors are black. Dump it on there. Your new layer. It's going to be your gradient. And go ahead and drop that below the black. And gradient tool. We're going to use the spectrums. That's these. I'm going to go ahead and pick brightest one, close that up, hold shift, and drag it across, um, so if I delete that, or hide it, you can see the gradient. Next thing we're going to go ahead and do is grab our eraser tool, and you need to make sure you're on the black layer the whole time. Um, there are other ways you can do this with layer styles, but I find this is the easiest, and it's how I made this, it looks pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see a little bit of texture in there, but I'm going to show you guys how to do that also. Next thing we we'll go ahead and do is grab our eraser, and you need to download some flame brushes. They do not come with Photoshop, but I'll try to leave them uh, like in the description to download. And most of the brushes are going to have a flat side. You want to line that up with the flat side of the uh, document, go over a little bit, and then click. You might see it's got that flat edge right there. Just go ahead and head over to our brush, We're making about 110 pixels, black, and we'll just smooth that off. Alright, good to go. Go back to our eraser, select a new flame. Boom. Go to the brush. And chop it off. Here you're actually using the eraser as the brush, and the brush is the eraser. So you kind of just switch the roles of the two. I'll go ahead and do this one on here. And really, this is just all you're going to do. You're just going to play around, putting different brushes on. Um, I'll go ahead and get one made real quick, and then I'll resume the video. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. I just kind of threw some random um, brushes on there just to give it the look for the video. Dog, what are you doing? Um, so that's just for the look of the video. I know mine looks a little bit more organized, but oh well, it's just like a video, it's going to look like this. Uh, next thing you want to do is add your text. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. Uh, Alright, sorry about that. I'm back. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, for the purposes of the video, it's just going to look like this. So next thing you want to do is grab your text tool, and this is where it gets a little tricky sometimes, um, getting the gradient to stay. But, so we'll go ahead, add our text, we'll do Benarac, Control T, make it real big, tilt it a little bit. 
And you don't have to keep the gradient. I might not keep it on this one because it's always a pain in the butt to get it. Uh, There we go, it looks kind of good. I'm not sure it wasn't as hard as it usually is. But you, can, you might have been able to see how I did that. I um, applied a bevel emboss into counter. I had, say, satin. Opacity of about 58, uh, over 60 just to darken it and make it stand out. And I went ahead and applied a gradient overlay. Uh, you're going to use the same exact one as used for your gradient layer right here. And I put that at about negative 20 degree angle. And that's it. The next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to add a pattern to that text. Uh, we're going to do that, but for some reason it's not showing. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, because we're going to do it like this. Place our picture. Let me find it real quick. Right. Oh shit. Alright, hold on, give me a second while I find the picture. I thought I knew where it was saved. Alright, I, uh, I couldn't find the one I was looking for, but I thought it had some smoke. I kind of liked the way it looked. So, I'm going to delete that real quick. What we're going to do is we're going to do File, Place, and I've got a picture of smoke down here. I said no, oh my gosh, it blocks a little picture. Oh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and change the. What is it? The. Whatever this is, blending mode or whatever. To screen. And that's going to make the black disappear pretty much. What I'm gonna do is bring the opacity down a little bit so it's not quite so in your face. So I'd say that looks pretty good. Uh, I don't quite like this text, um, but it's just because I didn't spend a lot of time on it. If I'd spent more time on it, I could have gotten it looking nicer, but I didn't. So, yep. There we go. There's the carbon fiber look. I don't like that a little bit more, you can just barely see it. But you can go through, you can add multiple, like say I wanted some sparks. Uh, I just do the same thing. Say so I'm going to change it to screen. And we're going to drop the opacity down to about 50%. Alright, so and there, they're just kind of ghosted in. So you can really, you can have a lot of fun with this, um, you can do a lot with this screen effect. But this is just a basic tutorial post, a video response, or a link to the picture of what you made with this. I'm interested to see what you guys made. So yeah, like I said, post a video a response or a link to images you are, L or whatever the website's called. And I would be glad to see it, or you can post it on our Facebook page. Or tweet it to us in the description, and be sure to download our toolbar. Uh, that would help us out a lot. So thanks again for watching. My name is Benarak from Team Lightfire, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys later. So thanks again.